wretch, you foul, vile fiend! You uncouth wretch! It is true. You, dear lady, you who live in such a tumultuous epoch, <laughs> do you not thirst for the drama and emotion of a properly structured tragic play? Of course you don't. You want to escape your troubles. You want to be made merry. You want to be amused. It is no good. We shall never agree. Ah, if only we could get our hands on Morley's lost play. It would solve all our problems. Yes, it is said to bring together the opposites of... All right. You will find the legendary lost play. We're gonna find this play all in the library. I love this quest, y'all. Oh my god. I love how all the Brightwall quests, except for the like the Lost Child one, all the rest are like so goofy. Like that's a big part of why I like this game is that like it doesn't take itself too seriously. Turn back now, mortal one. Oh, treasure. Nice. More money! Poltergeist books. Stay away from this accursed place! Only death and insanity await you! Thou who seekest forbidden knowledge, but shall find naught but damnation! Pick it up! No! Really, I'm serious! <laughs> oh my god. I feel like this is what I would be like if I were a ghost. <laughs> Just be absolutely ridiculous. Just be like, boo, I'm a ghost! You lot just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Literary tourist, of my <sighs> oh my god, that was really creepy. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. Oh no, we're in the book! <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Listen, you. You're not getting my lost plate, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. Hello. It would seem, my dear madam, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days trapped in a book. As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. Holy I believe look at how much we money we're escape, making. We must act this is amazing. But performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, putting on this costume should set things in motion. All right. After this quest, we're gonna buy some more real estate. Oh, Ethel, my love, my life, my son, if thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living. Ah, uh, yes, a classic moment in the play. You are Ethel the beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. Show Oliver that you love him, and we may be able to leave this scene. My heart is yours, my love. Let the heavens and the seas, the toads Aww, and the eels cute. sing the song in my heart, that. for she doth love me, and all is well. 
We shall meet again in the morrow, my little ferret, and elope into the sunset to live out our days in wondrous joy. A magnificent rendition. Truly, I applaud you. Hmm. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can you really comprehend the depths of my work? That we shall see. All right, y'all. Ah, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, yes. funnier plays, Bloodbath at the Royal Court. And this must be your costume. The role of the fool is one filled with tragic depth. It will require a masterful performance. We're gonna be a chicken again! Oh man, this is so silly. I love it. <laughs> What fresh insolence is this? Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon! Stand before your king, and do your jester's duty! Tis a troublesome time for this court, and my crown grows heavy. So make me laugh, or I shall have your head! Gucci, Gucci, Gucci! <laughs> oh, stop! It's too funny! I believe I'm in the right mood now to meet with those foreign delegates. I think I shall only behead half of them. Yes. I have never seen a more convincing fool. Yeah! As yet. Mm, uh, you we're gonna tell none of my friends from school as well as came to my graduation party. But will your Aww. versatility extend to the more I'm so subtle sorry, than me? I'm so sorry, dear. Is it because of the COVID restrictions, or oh, what happened? Dear. Unless Are you okay? I'm mistaken, this is a scene I'm so from sorry Maury's to hear that. That's awful. violent historical epic, Titus the Mutilator, Part 2. Which would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act 5, where Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite scene of mine as a child, I must admit. And here is Brianna Titus's Todd, yeah, probably famous I don't costume. Know, and I'm okay. They I probably were busy or forgot. Just like it. Put it on and you will take on the I'm greatest role so of your life. I'm so sorry, dear. Well, I hope that you, you know, were able to have fun at your graduation party with your family. Like, I'm sure they hung out with you and, you know, congratulated you. Did you get any good graduation presents? Morley has saved the best and most difficult for last, it would seem. Gladiatorial arena Titus, demands a thy pox-membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy. My son lies dead because of you. Now that shall revenge true. be mine. Cold is your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. Oh, oh, we're going to enjoy this. This warrior doesn't die. We have a Go on then. Use fire if you can. More of my kin lie slain, and yet you live. Glitched out. Next time. Blam. 
Bam! Right in the face. All my men dead. My vengeance denied. My world undone. I cannot stand to live one second more. A tremendous performance. That's just the ending I wanted to see when I was a young boy attending the theatre every weekend. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work? And the way you improvise some of those roles, you brought new life to my words. I stand in awe. You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honoured with before. My missing play. Yeah, I trust it to there. you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it the Ham Sandwich, a metaphorical title, of course. All right. Taz, there is the unfortunate case of everyone throwing a party all at once. That is true. Unfortunately, graduation season means everybody's throwing a party and it's hard for everybody to attend all of them. I do remember when I had my graduation party, there were some people that couldn't attend just because they had so many oh, other parties they had to attend. have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy day! Have you perchance found... This is no time for perchances, Lambert. The play, do you have it? <laughs> We're saved, Lambert! Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds! Thank you a million times! Thank you! <laughs> His head bosom! It's already working! Comedy and tragedy will at last join Brandt, Todd, I have almost 20k channel points on your Twitch. Oh my goodness! That is so many, dear! Hark. That's amazing! Bear witness we'll have to figure out to what you should do with them. Utility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk, and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet what purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite dark blanket that is death falls softly upon our still beating corpse. That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our happy sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say... Great big giant bosom! What the hell was that? <laughs> Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. Hooray! We saw the worst play ever, y'all. Oh my god, that was... That was all of the special. <laughs> oh, man. Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This should be more than enough to convince this little hamlet to send aid to the dwellers. I believe Samuel awaits you at the town gates to I'm express that I'm beginning to understand sentence. why Philip Morley never published this particular piece of work in his lifetime. Mm -hmm.